Hmm. Oi. Geraldine, it's me. What? Look, I know you're mad, but I have to write a statement that says a physics community is close to a breakthrough. And since you actually believe that, I could really use your help. Sorry, I can't. Come on, don't be like that. I can't because I think you were right. What? Look, not all science pans out. Now, we've been hoping supersymmetry was true for decades, and finally we built the Large Hadron Collider, which is supposed to prove it by finding these new particles, but it hasn't. Now, maybe supersymmetry, our last big idea, is simply wrong. Well, that sounds awful. Now I get why everyone hates me. <laughs> On the bright side, after working together for 15 years, you finally get to hear me say you were right. Like, yeah, you did. How's it feel? Given I might be unemployed, bittersweet. <laughs> Read it back to me. Oh, hang on. Yes, one might question the $20 billion to build and run the Large Hadron Collider, but on the other hand... Okay. Um, oh, oh, on the other hand, contrary to predictions, the Collider didn't create a small black hole that devoured the Earth and life as we know it. So, money well spent. This is depressing. Do you have any alcohol around here? Oh, and not surprisingly, when Penny moved out, she took every last drop. Um, <laughs> oh, but I do have several bottles of Romulan ale that I bought at Comic-Con. Isn't that just vodka with blue dye in it? First physics, now Romulan ale. What else would you like to defecate on? Hey, I thought you were coming right back. I was, but we're both depressed and decided to drown our sorrows. In mouthwash? <laughs> Man, that is so summer camp. <laughs> it is Romulan ale from Star Trek. It was briefly legalized during the alliance between the Romulan Empire and the Federation at the time of the Dominion War. Ah, uh, now I'm depressed. <laughs> okay, so you guys are upset because the collider thing disproved your theories? Uh, it's worse than that. It hasn't found anything in years, so we don't know if we're right, we don't know if we're wrong, we don't know where to go next. All I know is it looks like I tongue-kissed Avatar. <laughs> Come on, you guys are physicists. Okay, you're always gonna be physicists. And sure, sometimes the physics is hard, but isn't that what makes it boring? <laughs> hey, we're here. What's going on? Okay, as far as I can see, Science is dead, because Leonard killed it. And I, I don't know who the Romulans are, but those guys know how to party. <laughs> so what do you want us to do? I don't know. You're scientists. Cheer them up. Cheer them up? Do you even know what a scientist is? <laughs> but we don't need to be cheered up. It just turns out that physics is exactly like Lost. Started out great, and turns out just a big old waste of time. <laughs> who, who? You know what you sound like? Babies. Two whiny babies. There's nothing worse than being stuck with two whiny babies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna have two babies. <laughs> Babies are great. You're lucky to have two babies. I mean, look at me. Uh, I'm all alone. I'm never gonna have babies. Cause you can't make a baby watching Netflix with your dog. Thanks for coming. Physics is all we're cut out for. If we weren't physicists, what would we be? I don't know. Popular? <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I don't need to be a theoretical physicist. There's lots of things I could use this brain for. I could 
be an accountant for the mob. <laughs> I could guess people's weight at the fair. Okay, this is getting silly. Is it? 180. <laughs> okay, that is enough. Your lives are not wasted. Your careers are not at a dead end. You just hit a rough patch. Instead of feeling sorry for yourselves, you need to get up and get inspired. How? I, I don't know. You know, when I'm feeling down, I go for a run, which is exactly why I'm not 180 pounds, genius. <laughs> I know where we need to go. Are we running there? Because watching drunk children run would be the highlight of my life. <laughs> We're going to see Richard Feynman. Penny, Richard Feynman is an iconic I know who he is. Leonard dressed as him for Halloween last year. <laughs> I had no idea Richard Feynman was dead. Yeah, most people don't know. He's actually buried right here in Altadena. I'm sure they keep a lid on that to avoid traffic jams. Oh. <laughs> here he is. Oh, wow, he's buried with his wife. We get it. A lady loved you. Quit bragging. I know it was so cool. When I was a kid, I'd put on some headphones and crank up one of his lectures and just jam out to knowledge. This guy knew how to live. He taught himself musical instruments, He'd studied Portuguese, he used to give a speech in Brazil. The only part of me that's been to Brazil is my bikini line. so much, and here we are stuck and letting him down. You know, Feynman used to say he didn't do physics for the glory or the awards, but just for the fun of it. He's right. Physics is only dead when we stop being excited about it. Even beyond the grave, he's imparting wisdom. Um, I'm the one who remembered it. <laughs> Give me the bottle. We might be a little corny, but I say we pour one out for all the science homies who came before us. I love that. Do it. <laughs> Here comes some more. <laughs> Man, we got to see him run. 